Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. I'm back again with Dimitri's uh, direct landing. I just actually finished recording attempt number eight. Uh, luckily that ended in a success, but I'm really curious, you know, how this range thing is working. So I'm gonna try again immediately after that flight because I'm kind of hoping that we get a longer range because I want to find out what happens, uh, especially if we end up with a range that's like 150 or 200 kilometers because in the previous three attempts, they've all been, you know, kind of low. You know, we had a 60 kilometer range, um, an 18 kilometer, 19 kilometer range, and we had about a 75 kilometer range. So let's go ahead and switch camera views, jump into it. Uh, let's go ahead and view our flight record. So as you can see, we've had eight attempts, three successes. It was the last three attempts that were successful. Uh, four crashes, one suffocation. And let's go ahead and skip the intro. And right away, let's uh, kill rotate and uh, shift escape left side shift escape right side let's open up the retro doors and again you know i'm rushing through the beginning part here because i feel like it's pretty critical that we get our uh, interplanetary burn going as quickly as possible so let's go to the base approach let's go ahead and target brighton beach so we don't forget to do that and let's go to re-entry all get more information and again, my spreadsheet, I just made a quick note to let me know what the altitude at Brighton Beach is when we're landed. So that way, um, you know, again, I don't know that that really matters, but uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there. We used an anticipation angle of negative 0.3 last time, and I felt like that was the closest we've been so far. I'm going to use that number again. So with that in mind, I'm going to pause. And on this attempt, we're just going to copy paste that down because we're going to use that one again because um, I felt like that was just, I felt like that was really close. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and unpause. Now we have to figure out the all important um, re-entry time. So we're going to start with let's start with 2700 and then go 2800 so we went from that saved us 75 so that's 28 so let's try 29 so and let's just see about 3000 i think that's let's see 3000 2900 so that's a difference of 10 delta v and it's not worth the time difference so let's go 2900 again page over and let's get that burn going so i feel like that stuff there at the beginning is super important all right so we don't know our other data yet and again looking at these two numbers I don't know if that's any indication of how wide our range is going to be but if so it looks like our range is going to be really narrow again but um, it, we may find out that after this burn is done and we get down to 400 kilometers that you know there's a big difference here I don't know let's go ahead and bring up map and let's target Brian Beach and if I go up and a bit over this way. Let's see, zoom, zoom over more that way. Zoom maybe a bit up. Okay, so and we're straight across the base, so we don't need to make a correction. Let's go ahead and go retrograde. Let's bring up our com nav. I'm not gonna worry about the long range anymore. Uh, we're just going to just do uh, landing pad one only. And that's going to be 132.20. And what I'm actually going to do, because I find, for whatever reason, I have to go off frequency and on frequency. So I'm just going to set it for 132.15. That way, when I'm ready to go on frequency, I can just go forward, and hopefully that'll dial me in. I don't know why. I, I don't. I don't know why I have to do that. Because usually, I can set up my com nav in advance, but it's for some reason it's. I, I, don't, I don't know. So anyway, we're just going to go 132.15. And then we're ready to dial in. We're just going to go forward. So hopefully that'll save us, you know, the back and forth. Uh, once again, we'll bring up GPS V2L, go into our memory bank, and we're going to get Brighton Beach. This will be our long range. All right, so we're going to uh, bring up burn time on this side. Have that ready. Main engines, of course. And now we're going to bring up our generic camera on this side. And we should have our back camera at the moon. And it is. All right, we're gonna turn off retrograde, kill, maybe kill one more time. All right, so that is the initial setup. 
And again, retro doors are open, very important. That's not something I want to mess with when I'm needing to slow down right over the landing pad. So, all right, I think we're good to go. Uh, as we are going through this process, I find myself getting a bit faster at each step. So let's go ahead and warp time four, get down to that 400 kilometer mark so we can get our data. A little bit faster, okay, go down to 100 down to 10 and once we're you know closer to that 400 we'll go to real time let's go to real time and so yeah our range is really close again all right let's go down to 0 0.1 now let's put on our vertical speed 3238 give that a second and pause <clears throat> so, yeah, once again, our range is really small, so so that's a bit unfortunate, but it's okay because it gives us another another chance to check out what you know what we've been doing. All right, so according to our vertical speed, we need two hundred and three thousand and ninety nine meters to slow down. So that's uh, one of the highest ones we've had. So maybe that'll make a difference. And let's unpause and put in our DV for our ground speed, which is 34.52, enter, and pause. So yeah, we've only got a range of like 17 kilometers, which may be the lowest, and in fact it is. So 230,530 meters. Let's go ahead and switch here. So 230,530 meters. And we should just be able to copy all this down, paste it, and just double check. Yeah, we're good. And actually, let me just double check a couple of these. Yeah. Yep, that all looks right to me. Okay, so this time our range is uh, 27 kilometers. Okay, so my mental math was off, but still, you know, we're we're just we're within the narrow range. So we've been doing 60%. So uh, the difference between 60% and 50% because our range is so small is negligible. So I'm thinking we may want to try 40% on this one. Take a sip of water while I ponder that. <clears throat> let's go 50%. Let's not uh, let's not make too big of a jump at once. So again, it's very small difference here, but this time we're going to say we're going to start the burn. You know, basically at 217 kilometers. Like once we see 217 tick over, we'll immediately engage the full power of the main. So we're going to target 50%. And, and then we'll evaluate how we think we're doing with relation to our altitude and our vertical speed. And we may kill the main engine at some point during the burn so that we can get lower faster. That's the plan. Let's execute the plan. All right, we're gonna unpause. We're gonna go back to real time, make sure we're in the retrograde position. And again, we're targeting 217 kilometers, like right after it ticks from 217 to 216 main engine okay so let's get our vertical speed set while we're while we're doing this and let's go to let's I think 10 kilometer uh, 10 meters per second it's pretty good for the initial hang on 216 so yeah okay we still have time so something like that again when when it, when we see 217 in the moment it clicks over we're going to engage the main engine Okay, 240, 230, okay, we're 217 to 216. Okay, here we go. I think we got it. All right, and now we're going to warp time four to get through the big burn. And altitude's still really high. All right, let's come out of time warp because I'm getting ground rush. So we're still really high, so we may want to cancel the main engines. I don't know though, we're still going really fast. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're still going really fast. I'm a bit worried actually. Oh boy. Oh boy, I think we're gonna hit the ground. Okay. You are clear to land. Yeah. 
kill the main engine. So, not a success. Alright, let's log it. So we did H... No, we did I-15 this time, and we had a surface impact. So, let's think about it, because we do have some time on this video, so let's think about... So, because I feel like on that one, honestly, because the difference between here and here is so little, I still feel like we would have hit the ground. So, what went wrong? Because... Maybe... Okay, so I did say that our vertical speed and ground speed were higher than they have been. So that's certainly what played a factor here. So, so it's not just the range that matters. It's also what is the initial velocity. So, so, so maybe, and maybe the initial velocities are even more important than the range. Because here, you know, you can see we had... Um, of course, I'm not actually logging the velocities here, but we can tell based on these numbers what the velocity was. But here we had the lowest velocity of them all. So I think another thing we can take away from this flight is if our starting velocities are high, then maybe we want to go in this direction. We want to go closer to this number and if our initial velocities aren't so high then we can afford to go in this direction you know we can go down 40 to 50 to 40 when our velocities are a bit lower all right so well that now we know uh, where we know a little bit more from this flight than we did before we did this flight so let's go ahead and switch camera views here short video uh, I'm not gonna do another attempt because if it works out then we'll end up with like a half hour video or something I think I am actually going to try attempt number 10 immediately after this recording, though. And, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, up to you if you want to hit the like button. We had a fail, but, uh, you know, we learned something. So, I'll see you in the next video.